Hi. At the summit, it was Prince Harry, his traumas and fragility, and this prior to his betrothal. And he became a media sponsored champion for those with mental health problems and issues until a more lucrative Hollywood type existence beckoned. After this came, and is still rolling, a veritable tsunami of elite sports people, actors, musicians, celebrities, politicians claimed to be undergoing some form of mental trauma. It became the in thing. Although indeed many of them were undergoing psychological disorientation, complications and breakdowns, they are ultimately cushioned by wealth, connections and support networks. Same with the majority of the upper and middle classes. But for the working class, it's a different story. We've already endured a decade of brutal austerity. What pitiful, woefully funded mental health facilities we previously had are fractured and disintegrating and no longer exist in any tangible form. Prior to the pandemic, we were already undergoing immense isolation, intense mental health problems on the verge of cracking up due to the insane pressure of living at the bottom of the heap in a state of increasing precarity or the all, all too real threat of it with little or no fallback. This will be magnified by COVID fallout. Truth is, we've been abandoned, ignored, and simply becoming non-people, not worth the effort, and thrown to the wolves and vultures of capitalism. Welcome to just one part, a mere fraction of the new normal. Again, as always, the most relevant solutions can only arise from the bottom. All sufferers are disaffected, getting together and linking with those who will eventually enter our only real forum the place of direct action and education, the streets. All solutions will be created by our own hands. Leave the top to wallow in their own angst, ignore their self-serving platitudes and dramas. Let's look after ourselves and each other instead. Bye.